Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy and today is going to be a bit of a mini fix video. Now recently I went to a toy fair and I met up with Lawrence who uh, runs the shop Toy Planet UK. He's a good friend of mine and I, I'm often buying bits and bobs from him and he knows I'm working on what I'm calling the nerd vest which is a denim jacket covered in sort of geeky and nerdy patches so all sorts of toy related stuff and sci-fi related stuff and he gave me a couple of patches including this Action Man badge. Now I've been trying to do a bit of research on this badge to uh, see what it actually is from. And it appears to be a badge that was given to uh, salespeople who were selling uh, Action Man stuff in store. So you get this badge, you could put your name on the bottom of it uh, and just basically walk around the shop looking pretty cool with this sort of Action Man badge on. Now Lawrence had this in uh, his collection. As you can see, it actually has his name on it because he used to wear it. And uh, he very kindly gave it to me to add to my nerd vest. But I think before I do that, it needs a little bit of TLC and I'm going to make a few little repairs to it. As you can see it obviously has Lawrence's name on the front so I'm going to remove that. That is just a sticker. It's also got paint all around the edge of it. I'm not quite sure why this is and maybe at some point this was stuck to wall and someone lazily painted around it because it really is just on the edges. So I'm going to have to remove that but the main thing that needs fixing is actually on the back of it. If we turn it around you can see there is a, a safety pin attached to the back of it and I would imagine it originally had a safety pin on there but this is held on with uh, hot glue by the looks of it and only just about held on. You can actually see some of the paint there as well at the top that has come over the edge. So what I'm going to do is make a new fixing for this safety pin so that it will be held on a lot firmer and I imagine it originally was held on with some bits of plastic but we'll discuss that in a minute. So these are the bits of restoration I'm going to do to this. Uh, if you do actually know any more about this badge then do get in touch or leave a comment below this video because I would really like to know uh, more about it. But for now let's get repairing this and make it so that it's actually a wearable badge again. Right so so here is the badge and we can take a closer look at it. You can see it has a new name sticker on the front of it. I think this is just a sticker so I should be able to take that off with a bit of lighter fluid. Around the edge there is some uh, paint which I think is emulsion paint or something like that. You can just about see it here on the edge. If I turn it over you can actually see it a bit clearer there. That should just come off with a little bit of scraping if it's what I think it is. So, so a fairly bluntish knife and I think that will just scratch off. Uh, but then you can see the main issue which is this uh, fixing here for the safety clip. It's been hot glued on. I imagine how this was originally attached was just uh, there would have been a couple of sort of plastic tabs on the back of this sort of one set here one set here uh, that the safety pin would have sat between and then the top of those two tabs would have been melted with a soldering iron or something like that and those have probably snapped off or it's broken away during the year so uh, someone has hot glued this on so what we can do is we'll clear off all of this hot glue and then I'm going to make some new fixings using some uh, probably one millimeter styrene sheet I'll make a long sort of bit that we can go across the whole of the safety pin and hold it in place and I think that should work quite nicely and then it'll be nice and secure and I can actually wear this. At the moment I would worry that this hot glue is already starting to peel off. You can see it's coming away here. I think this safety pin at some point will just fall off and uh, then potentially you will lose the badge and I don't really want to lose this because it is very cool indeed. So um, let's get started on this project uh, and uh, yeah we'll see what we can do to make this look very nice again. So first up let's re remove this uh, safety pin. As I say this is hot glue it doesn't look like it's held particularly strongly. Someone has sanded the back of this to give it a slightly rough surface. You can just see that with the light on there. And uh, even with that, hot glue doesn't really glue that well to flat surfaces. You can always remove it. So um, just a bit of pulling like this. You can see that that glue comes away very, very easily indeed. You don't even need a knife. I'm just doing this with my fingernails. It, it really just doesn't want to hold on. So there we go, that is the glue removed very cleanly indeed and we're just left with a nice flat badge that I, as I say I'm going to make something out of styrene to uh, stick that back on with. Now we can deal with the paint. I've got a knife here which I know is fairly blunt so this is just my pen knife and I reckon with just a bit of scraping you can see that this paint will come off. Again I'm convinced this is emulsion paint. I don't think it's anything more than that so it's a water-based paint shouldn't take too long but um, yeah probably about 20 minutes and I'll be able to get rid of all of this paint and then we can start making the new fixing. If 
Right, that's already starting to look better. Just getting rid of that paint has really improved the way this looks. We now need to remove this sticker. Uh, I think the simplest way to do that is actually just some lighter fluid. This actually is a plastic sticker, so the lighter fluid is not gonna soak through it, but you will be able to get lighter fluid under the edge of it. And that, that's all we need just to sort of loosen the stickiness of it. So a bit of lighter fluid around the edge of it like that, and it will just get under there enough that you can then sort of get your nail under and it will start to come off. There you go, you can see it's a miracle, this stuff. There we go. And that's nice and easy. Uh, and then I think I will give everything a bit of a clean just with some light fluid as well, because there's bound to be sort of dirt and grime on this surface. As it is a pretty old badge. I think the uh, copyright on it, just about see that there. It doesn't actually have a date, but it's uh, Palatoy UK Hasbro USA. Palatoy hasn't been around for a very long time. So this is a very old badge indeed. Now we've got to attach the safety pin and the way I'm going to do it is actually just make a sort of simple C-shaped piece that will go over the top of this uh, sort of rear part of the pin. To do that I'm going to be using some two millimetre styrene. I was thinking it could possibly be one millimetre styrene but actually by the time you've got the pin in place it's got a slight curve to it. I think we need two millimetre styrene. So I'm going to do two thin strips of this and then over the top of that I'm going to stick a piece of one millimetre styrene so we'll end up with sort of thick C-shape which we can then stick onto the back and I Think that will hold everything in place. So we just need something that is the length of the sort of middle part of this safety pin. So I'm going to say it needs to be, if we say three centimetres is probably just about too long. So if I do two and a half centimetres, I think that will be enough. So I need two two and a half centimetre long pieces that are two millimetres wide. And then I need a five millimetre by uh, two and a half centimetre piece of this one millimetre sheet. And then we can uh, plastic weld that all together. So uh, let me get cutting. Okay, I think I've got uh, what I need now. So you can see here, this is what I've made. It is essentially a C-shaped piece of plastic. So we've got two two millimeters sort of thick strips of styrene onto a one millimeter thick bit of styrene. And I've shaped the edges and sort of curved it down. So here is the safety pin. And you can see that that now slots nicely into that little gap there. And the idea is that I'm going to stick this onto the back about in the center. I think that's about where it would have been. I don't think the original one would have been this long. I think actually the original one would have been two little bits, one at either end, that, as I say, would have been melted with a soldering iron. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to make something that's nice and strong so that it's not ever going to come off of this badge and I'm not going to lose the badge. So again, I'm going to plastic weld this on. The plastic that the badge is made of, I think is going to work very nicely with plastic weld. Obviously styrene does, which is what I've made the little pieces out of. So hopefully these will bond very nicely together and it will form a very strong uh, join that isn't going to cause us any issues. So if I take this what I'm going to do is 
I will put some uh, plastic belt onto the underside of this, start it going a little bit sort of sticky and I can then position this onto the badge and I will very carefully then put some uh, plastic weld around the edge of it just so that the capillary action pulls it in. But if I get this sort of basically where I want it first, which I think is going to be about there, looks about right. Yeah, I think that's good. So now I can put some plastic weld on the brush again. I'm just going to very carefully put it around the edge of this just so that it pulls in. I don't want to get any particularly onto the back of the badge. I want this to be a very neat join. So there we go. That feels very good. I'm going to let that go off and set and then we can sort out making a little name badge to go on the front. This has now had time to set fully and it really is a very firm bond indeed. I think you'd have great trouble breaking that off, which is what I wanted because I don't want this badge to fall off if I'm wearing it. So I wanted something that's going to really hold firm and I think that does it. So a couple of bits of styrene and some plastic button. I've made a very nice attachment there for the uh, safety pin. Now what we need to do is add a name badge on the front of this. And I've been thinking about what I should do with this. I sort of was thinking I could print something really fancy like a proper toy ploy logo and stick it on there. But actually when I sort of thought about it some more these were given out to uh, people in shop so they would have most likely just written something on with biro or written something on a sticker with biro so that's exactly what I've done here I've printed out a uh, toy ploy written in biro I found a font that I quite liked my writing isn't that good so I thought if I found someone else's writing uh, that would work so this is a biro font and I've printed that out onto some sticky backed uh, printer paper and then over the top of it I actually just stuck a bit of sellotape to uh, give it a sort of a shiny finish because I want this to look sort of quite old-fashioned and I thought it that would sort of work really very nicely. So this is what I'm going to stick on there and I think once that's on it sort of fits you know it looks a bit old and a bit sort of uh, 70s 80s sort of in style and the sort of thing someone in a shop would wear and um, yeah I really like that. So let's get this stuck on and um, we'll see what the final badge looks like. Hopefully I can still get the sticky back off this. As I say I stuck some uh, sellotape on the front of it and it's made it a little bit thicker and a bit awkward. I might need to get a pair of tweezers. Oh no, there we go got it. I think that works really nicely. It's exactly what I wanted. It looks a little bit sort of handmade but fits with the rest of the badge. So this is now ready to go on my nerd vest. I do need to do a little bit of rearranging I think because I don't quite have enough space for it but uh, when I've sorted that out I'm going to be wearing this around because I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Right so that is the badge finished and I now actually have a little bit more information about it thanks to Alan who got in touch after seeing my toy hunting video where I first showed it. It turns out that this is actually a mail away offer sort of door badge or door plaque that you're supposed to stick on your door so that your parents knew that it was your room. When you bought Action Man and they sort of came in boxes like this on the side there would be a selection of stars that you could cut off and then collect them up and send away for what was known as the star awards and in some of the later issues of these star awards you got an offer for this which you can see here is a name badge so for this you would have had to save up five stars and send off that plus a few pence or a few pounds and you would have got back this nameplate so it isn't actually a badge it is a nameplate uh, but I'm still really pleased with what I've uh, done to it I'm really happy that I can now actually wear this it would be quite cool as a badge and actually you can still use it as a sort of badge to stick on your door but what I'm going to be doing with it is wearing it on my nerd vest so it's not quite original but it's still very cool and if you want to get one for yourself then you have to save up five stars and send off 15p and you will get one of these back or you would have done back in the day sadly these offers are no longer available I do need to say a massive thank you to uh, Lawrence from Toy Planet UK for uh, giving me this uh, I will put a link in the description to his Facebook group so go and check that out because he's always got lots of really cool things for sale if you've enjoyed this video then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video and thanks for watching thanks for watching toy ploy subscribe for more great videos you can also follow toy ploy on twitter facebook and instagram